Hi, I am Miss Carmel, and in this video, I'll be talking about direct sowing seeds in a garden. But before that, let me give you a quick tour to Guanay Central School Sugbaso Garden. Let's go! like a miracle. Plant your seeds, add some water and sunlight, and before you know it, you're seeing your plants sprout from the ground. You'll soon be eating the most delectable and nutritious vegetables you've ever had. Direct sowing comes down to the three basics of gardening. Sun, soil, and water. First, all vegetables need full sun to properly grow and produce their bounty. You've probably heard of the term full sun. This literally means 6 to 8 hours a day of unfiltered sunlight, so make sure to keep this requirement in mind when you're picking your garden location. Second, the soil where vegetables grow in is what will feed them and nourish them, so make sure the soil is rich, well drained, and into which you've dug lots of organic matter like compost. The organic material helps to feed your plant and condition the soil so that its texture is light and soft. Young plants need a comfortable soil so that they can root into it without any trouble. When roots can't develop easily, young plants become stressed and won't grow and produce to their full potential. Third, keeping your plants adequately watered is the key to successful gardening. Emerging seedlings can quickly die if allowed to dry out and be careful how you water them. Too strong of a stream can wash your seeds right out of the bed. Some recommends to use a shower type of nozzle, also called a rose nozzle attached to a wet. These will give you the most control for your watering stream. Let's get started on a quick presentation of direct sowing seeds. First, prepare the soil. Start with loose, weed-free, level soil. Take some time to prep the area first by removing all weeds, rocks, and sticks, and break up large clumps of dirt. Loosen the soil and rake into an even level soil. Almost all soil will be improved by thoroughly blending in some organic material, such as well-decomposed compost, peat moss, or manure. The next one, prepare the seed if needed. The seed pack instructions and your research may indicate that some seeds will do best with some prior preparation. For example, seeds for some plant species need to be slightly softened by soaking them in water before planting. Others may need to be scarified by rubbing them against fine sandpaper. Scarifying helps thin the hard shells on some seeds, making them more easily absorb water, germinate, and sprout more easily. A good book on plant propagation will tell you how to best prepare seeds for direct sowing. Third is plant the seeds. Follow seed packet instructions for planting depth and spacing. Some seeds require light to germinate and prefer to be sown directly on top of the soil. With very tiny seeds, the sowing method is often to pinch the seeds between thumb and forefinger and sprinkle the seeds into the soil by rubbing the fingers together. Larger seeds usually need to be buried at the prescribed depth, sometimes individually and sometimes in small clusters to ensure proper germination. The fourth one is moisten the soil. 